This video is going to give you a quick tutorial on the steps needed to complete your annual security compliance process with Clearant, the credit card processing bank. A member of your team has been sent two emails from customer support at clearant.com. These contain the username and a one-time password. You will go to the client sign-in on the upper right once you've arrived at their site, clearant.com. Enter the username and password as it was provided. If you're not allowed in on the first try, double check your username and password and try again. If this is your first time accessing the clearance page, you'll be prompted to provide a temporary password and then set and confirm your personalized password before logging in fully. As I've already completed these steps, I'm brought directly into the client portal. At the left hand side you will see various information pertinent to your account and lower in the light green a link to the Data Guardian compliance panel. Upon arrival please review the business information in part 1. You will likely need to use the edit function in the top right to fill out several missing fields before proceeding. If your business has a different legal name than what it is known to your clients by, fill in the legal name as well as any other fields marked with a red asterisk. And save your changes. Moving on to part two, none of the given business types really best describe most of our Connect Booster users. Some may be tempted to use the e-commerce option. Instead, you'll choose other and input a brief description of the business. Part three asks you several questions about how you accept the credit card payment and the service providers you use. You'll select yes for the first question as the BNG gateway is a crucial component of your Connect Booster solution. In most cases, you'll be closing down any prior credit card processing accounts provided by other institutions in the very new future if you have not done so already. You may select no for the second question. Part four asks you questions about the means by which you are accepting customer payment. As you and your customers will primarily be logging into the Connect Booster portal, you should select standalone computer. Several additional questions will appear below. The first asks you about locally storing completed card numbers electronically. There should be no reason for this once you have implemented your Connect Booster, so you may answer no. The system then asks about EMV chip cards. Once again, your payments will primarily occur online, so you may answer no to this as well. Finally, a larger section appears asking you to confirm your payments are happening via a system in which the user must log in and provide their card numbers. Here you select yes and then proceed to selecting the service provider information. As previously mentioned, your Connect Booster portal relies on the BNG gateway to store and transmit all sensitive card data. In the provider list on this page, it is referred to by its generic name, Network Merchants. Now there will be only one option to select in the remaining two drop-down boxes. Scroll down to acknowledge the terms of service, then select Save and Continue. Confirm the attestation and continue. On the next page, you'll see a brief summary of the types of questions the system will be presenting to you. These questions will ask you to confirm your business follows basic security practices in a number of areas. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select the Start Questionnaire. The first question asks you to confirm you have firewalls in place preventing unintended access while the second asks you to assure that vendor-supplied passwords to software and hardware are changed immediately and not left at their default values. You will continue through the remaining questions, reviewing the statements in each to confirm your business is following these basic security guidelines and best practices. Upon completion of all 11 questions, you should see each in green and may proceed to the bottom of the page to continue.
Next, you will conduct a final review of the information you have provided, making any corrections that you may notice as necessary. At the bottom of the page, you will electronically sign the questionnaire by entering your name, title, and the last four digits of either the business tax ID or your personal social security number. Finally, click Submit. After processing a moment, you will be brought to the final screen, where you may elect to print or email copies of each of the documents to keep for your records. You may access this Data Guardian area at any time from your clearant client login, should you need any of these documents later. Congratulations, your annual compliance process is complete and you may log out at the top of the page.